uh, short on strings, right? But it does have a chapter on strings. So let me go here. They'll cover this more or less the same material that you do here, but more. Uh, <coughs> they they introduce classes a lot more here. I think some professors only cover like one week or two weeks of. And then they they uh, so they talk about if statements, loops, void, value return functions, variables, uh, classes. And some professors, not all, like me, I talk about how code and memory work because that prepares you for programming three. Right? If you're under the computer science curriculum, then you need programming three. So that's why I talk about code and memory. That way, when you go to programming three, you're not uh, struggling there. So depends on the professors you take. Okay, so let me see here more about strings, right? So, so notice it talks about basic string operations. String slicing, All right? So in essence, they're talking about built-in functions or built-in cool stuff, magic stuff you can do with strings, right? Like here, like they're saying that you can get uh, characters from six to ten, right? So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So then you can get len with a statement. I personally don't teach the class like this. Like I don't this for this book this piece I don't go by the book because when you go to C++ they don't have this stuff. All right, so then you're going to be struggling. So instead what I what I do with strings that I as I teach how strings work, how they're plotted in memory and how you can loop through a string in Python, right? So my thinking is like more than likely you're going to take programming too so why do you a disservice by teaching you all the magic stuff python can do and then you go to c plus plus and c plus plus is more like a legacy old school language and more is like you have to understand how stuff works in memory and how you can loop through a string and how to ma manipulate strings you can be struggling right so so we're gonna cover this chapter but a little bit different okay so let me open one note and first, I'm going to show you how strings are plotted onto memory. We we more or less know like how variables are plotted onto memory, right? Like we get a we get a variable, and uh, they have a place on the stack where you put the value. So strings that don't exactly work like that, right? So let me go here, <clears throat> and we go here, and we'll go. This is the first step in understanding how uh, strings work, right? So we go here and let's say uh, we have def main and then uh, we just have lang equals and I'm going to use C++ not because I don't like Python but because this will be a smaller uh, diagram, right? So I don't have anything against Python so I want to make that clear, right? So so we do that and how is this plotted in memory so we know by now that we have something known as stack memory and this is where functions get loaded so when main runs main gets loaded again we still have to have to, have to understand how functions work right and then we have this concept of heap memory free store this is usually two to four gigabytes of memory, so that's a big memory footprint. Stack is usually small, uh, ten about 1024 kilobytes uh, KB. So it's a small memory footprint. Like you'll run out of memory like pretty quickly. So here, when main is loaded onto memory, then Python's like, oh, we have lang, right? So we have the lang variable here, right? This is I'm going to make this number up completely and make this number up completely. So we go here. These numbers uh, represent memory addresses, right? But I'm just saying x, some large number x, some large number y. Okay, so 
and let's say also has like num equals five okay so num equals five that one's easy that one has a value five here and that's it but lang it doesn't work that way lang will have to go find its data 101 102 103 104 105 okay uh, Maybe someone asked, should ask, why are we only jumping by one, right? And then over here we have 96, uh, 196, right? So we're jumping by four. So 